Sad news again coming out of Jamaica. Businessman, Westmoreland businessman, gone down at his establishment, you know. Saying, and this leads me now to draw the conclusion that it is very hard to be a businessman in Jamaica or a businesswoman. And I don't want to sound pessimistic, but what a businessman I get shot down and farmers I get licked down and bugger bag things. Go they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it don't make sense. I bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. <laughs> bag of things, TV, media. John no star, me not lie, businessman them and the progressive people them, the farmer them I get shot down in a Jamaica, you know. Westmoreland businessman was shot and killed at his establishment by two dirty gun boy riding motorcycles, posing as customer on Tuesday afternoon. Them I use that style of hard, you know man. The deceased has been identified as 58 year old Pete Fleming of Grange Hill, Westmoreland address, you know. And this is what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Reports are that about 5.50 p.m., Fleming was at his restaurant he operated when a motorbike rode up with two dirty gunmen who went into his establishment. And that them doing, you know, they must ask serve now. They must say, yo, serve. Call for serve, you know. Now the shopkeeper, I go run up and down now and try to help the people them because you don't know, say, it's a business establishment, you know. Soon as the man take a start now, you find out, say, boy, gunshot has fire. Shortly after, gunshots were heard coming from the building. Let me just say a while. Two dirty gun boys were seen running from the building and they jumped onto a motorcycle and fled from the scene. And take with yourself right there, you know? Kill the man and gone. That's a hit, right? That's a hit man job, man. It was on this man long, long time. They want him food. The police were called and upon their arrival, Fleming was seen lying in a pool of blood, suffering from gunshot wounds. The Westmoreland police are investigating the incident. Ladies and gentlemen from Westmoreland, I beg you now, if you see the license plate, if you can identify the dirty criminal boy, them, please talk up your things, them, right? You, say, you, know? you don't know a thing. Because when I find out, say, you know, the businessman, them, the businesswoman, them, I will eat the pawn, them, because they might go through a whole lot problem, too, you know. Sometimes extortion is part of the problem why people are killing them off, you know. Some man I say, yo, brother, me supposed to get some money from them a time until that time there. And me a compare you. Send all to a dirty criminal cronies. If you compare the busy man and say, yo, extortion for run. No, you have some busy man and say, yo, no, nah, man, you're mad, man. You're not getting no money, man. You can't get my money like that. You're mad. And you find out, say, boy, man, return and come shoot the man and kill the man. If I don't mix up your inner, cause you don't know say whole mix up thing I go on to you know. But right now me not lie, me go put mix up on the back page. Me feel say I kill him one kill a man because they want to rob him. Either jealousy, bad mind, and covetous. Or they want to extort him, you know. Cause I report a lot of incidents like them sitting here. The businessman, them, the farmer, them, the progressive people of Jamaica get killed a lot. You understand? And the dirty criminal them now when not contribute to society. I them a live on long, long, long time them a live on boy. Me I tell her say, yo, John, you know, good people them have to stand up and want report on them boy. Yeah. Yes, man, report on them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Operation Liberty Cost helping to restore order to Sentence Town. The police them are straight up Sentence Town in a car. When you go down a Sentence, you find out say a road block up. Man, I sell in a Migli road, you can't even drive. No, I saw now a criminal boy them now when they make them escape. The police can't catch them. Because the town too chuck up, man. Yeah man. But here now, the man they must straighten out the thing in them now. Seller must be over the so. Taxi man operate the so. The road must be cleared at all time. You understand? Here what they must say, Ochiraya sent on more than 1.5 million worth of perishable, non-perishable item were seized. And 16 people were served summonses. To appear in court during police operation in St. Anne Town of Ocho Reyes and Brownstone. So, man, I will get locked up, and woman, I will get locked up, you know. The disobedient one, them, the hardiest one, them, the stubborn one, them, I will get locked up, you know. The seizure were made under a law enforcement drive launched by St. Anne Police, dubbed Operation Liberty Cost, which is aimed at restoring law and order in the parish. Remember, the Jamaican people, them don't love law and order, you know. They love chaos, a lot of them, not all. But a lot of them love the chaos, you know, man. Police them are straight, not back everything. 
Providing an update on the initiative, Deputy Superintendent of Police Ryan Gale said during a town sweep in Brownstone on Tuesday that four people were served summonses to appear in court and several vehicles and weapons seized. Some of them vehicles they were driving without license plate. Some of them don't even insure. Some of them not straight up in a man. Some of them not register for coming off a road to you know. He said the sweep was conducted by the police in partnership with St. and Municipal Corporation. According to Gill, the latest operation was in response to an increase in murders and road crashes in the area. A beer then sitting there going on a St. and Mount saying the nice, nice place they must take over by dirty criminal. This is why the man they must have come down for them now. I don't want no man I say, boy, and yo, John no Star police, I'm a pressure to get the people, the man, the people, the man, this and that, because enough people want to see chaos, you know, take over Jamaica, you know. And you see right now, a harder run things, because we see the problem with the chaos and the confusion are causing at the place, you know. A long time the government fear do this, and, and I don't want them to just come up with this, and the next minute they, they forget about it, and the whole place gone back in a confusion. No, man. That's why they have to recruit more police. The whole place must be littered and dab with police all over. Not just St. Anna alone, Kingston, St. Catherine, every single parish must have enough police them to help the place. Straight out the thing. And traffic, no man, is supposed to stop in on the middle of the road and I sell no items and them things and I block up the whole street, you know. They don't know a thing. Bugger Things Media TV, man. Bugger Things up, 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 up. Media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it.